Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we will discuss one more section of solid a cone. It is an interesting problem because the section plane condition is not given in terms of uh, inclination. They, they said what is the true shape of section. Here the true shape of section is parabola. So it's an interesting uh, problem to solve. If you wish to check the similar kind of problem in square prism, we solved uh, the true shape of section as rhombus and then we identified what is the true inclination of inclination of a section plane. If you wish to see that video, check the description box for a link after watching this problem. Okay. Read the question a cone base 50 mm diameter and axis 65 mm long rests with its base on HP. It is cut by a section plane such that the true shape produced is parabola of base 35 mm. The base of parabola is 35 mm. Draw the sectional top view and true shape of the section. So after reading the question always check what is the front and top view of a cylinder. So not a cylinder here it's a cone so rest with its base on hp being base on hp our top view will be a circle and front view will be a triangle now what about diameter of circle it is 50 mm diameter and you can divide the circle into eight divisions and give a notations as a b c d e f g h okay then you extend the perpendicular vertical projectors to complete the front view the height of front view is uh, 65 axis height is 65 mm complete the front view simple position you know that very well uh, a b c d e will be visible but f g h is invisible so i don't want to uh, mention every notations in the front view so intermediate c dash g dash c dash is visible but g dash is invisible in the front we can complete this alone okay this is the simple position of the solid simple position of the solid so whenever uh, our true shape is parabola you have to remember one condition if the true shape of a cone is a parabola means the section plane must be parallel to any one of the n generators what do you mean by n generators O dash A dash is one N generator. O dash E dash is the another N generator. So section plane must be parallel to any one of the N generator if our true shape of section is given as parabola. But in this question, they have given one more data, additional data as base of parabola as 35 mm. So you have to fix that base in the top view you can uh, on either side you can choose so if you choose from here measure the distance fix the distance of base of parabola as 35 mm base of parabola as 35 mm and mark this point as one which is the uh, cutting point of a section plane and you extend a perpendicular projector and convert this as one dash this distance must be exactly 35 above uh, this OA 17.5 and below a, uh, OA it is 17 point, another 17.5 so totally the 35 is the base of parabola 1 dash so from this 1 dash point you have to draw a section plane parallel to the end generator O dash A dash like this from 1 dash point so this is where we obtain the base as 35 we extended a perpendicular projector from this point you have to draw a section plane parallel to one of the end generator here we have chosen O dash A dash now we will know what is the next uh, step you have to convert the remaining portion of the solid into thick lines so this O dash A dash is the removed portion this is the remaining portion of the solid can change into continuous thick lines similarly in the top view this part is the removed portion this is the remaining portion of the solid the remaining portion of the solid must be converted into continuous thick lines irrespective of the question 
you have to convert this into continuous thick lines okay after converting into continuous thick lines we have to identify the cutting points of a section plane we have to identify the cutting points of a section plane this is 1 dash on this o dash this is b dash o dash b dash there is one more cutting point of a section plane make it as 2 so it is somehow very closer to 1 dash so we can make it as 2 dash if we extend a projector it is similarly uh, ob it is cutting ob here it is o dash b dash corresponding division is ob in the top view next on the axis on the axis it is cutting make it as 3 dash here this axis is perpendicular already it is perpendicular to xy so unable to track uh, this o dash c dash where it is cutting oc in the top view for this we have to shift this 3 dash parallel to xy to any one of the n generator so o dash e dash so from this p dash point see the cursor from this p dash point we extend a perpendicular projector to cut oe here it is o dash e dash corresponding division is oe here the point p now take o as center and this p point as radius draw an arc for both the sides this is for oc this is for og so this we can make it as 3 okay so next cutting point of section plane is on o dash d dash this is d and f on o dash d dash this is the place where this cutting point of a section plane make it as 4 dash extend a perpendicular projector until it cuts o d this is o this is d o d make it mark 4 next is o dash e dash o dash e dash this is the cutting point of section plane make it as phi dash extend a vertical projector until it cuts o e so you have to check uh, extend the vertical projector to the corresponding divisions so here it is o dash e dash similarly in the top view o e make it as 5 this is 5 so we have to come back for o f o g o h o f which is exactly on the 4 dash projector we can make a point as 6 6 dash it is uh, hidden uh, invisible from here invisible in the front view if you see from here this o f is invisible f is invisible that's why 6 dash in the bracket next uh, o f is completed on o g o g already we did the same procedure we identified a point so on the 3 dash projector you are going to have 7 dash on og this is the 7 point and similarly here it is b on oh on oh you are going to have one more cutting point of section plane 8 dash you can mark 8 here so finally on uh, this is like a b in between a b this is point 1 for a h if you check here this is a h so this is the point of b dash and h dash for that we are going to have one more cutting point of section plane as 9 okay so 9 cutting points of section plane identified in the top view now you can join all these cutting points of section plane by a smooth parabola you check a smooth parabola you can check everywhere 1 Point 0.2 this is point 0.3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 everywhere it must travel through all the point and you should obtain as a parabola do a hatching this is our sectional top view okay now we have to identify the true shape of section as parabola draw a parallel plane of projection to the section plane as x1 y1 and extend a vertical sorry perpendicular projector it must be 90 degree to this x1 y1 shift all this distance from this point from this one dash projector if you check the top view you measure the distance from one dash 
from x y to this one distance mark on this similar corresponding perpendicular projector okay one one on the same projector we are having point number nine so we can shift again you measure the distance of nine keep this point as center transfer nine next is two and eight two and eight on the same projector on the two dash you extend our perpendicular projector and measure the distance of two first and mark two one then you mark the distance of eight next is uh, three dash and seven dash from three dash and seven dash you extend a perpendicular projector measure the distance of uh, three and seven first you can mark from here from x y what is the distance of three and use this point as center and transfer the distance of three one next is on the same projector we are having seven three dash and seven dash on the same projector so you can convert seven one similarly complete four and six on the same projector four dash six dash so you have to carefully measure because lot of uh, vertical projectors four and six is the middle line so you measure the distance of four and six convert it in the corresponding four dash six dash perpendicular projector finally five dash so here it is five you measure the distance of this and transfer the same here now you can join everything by means of a continuous thick line as a smooth surface at last don't forget to verify your answer this 11291 must be 35 that is our question parable of base as 35 mm this is the true shape of section parabola so friends always remember even the base of parabola is not given in your question the section plane condition may be one of its section plane is parallel to any one of the n generator means you will obtain the true shape of section as a parabola always remember this uh, this is an interesting question without a section plane condition as inclination we derived our section plane from the true shape of section if you want to Take the similar problem in square prism as a true shape of section as rhombus. You can check the description box for a link. If you have any doubt or any queries, you can uh, ask through comment box. If you like this video, click the like button and share the same with your fellow friends. Subscribe the channel and thank you for watching.